Ya, ni wakati mwingine tena mzuri tumekutana tena. Jina langu naitwa Mr. Mlelwa. Kama ulikuwa pamoja nami katika Form 1 Biology, nami ni ulielewa vizuri Form 1 Biology, lakini kama uko pamoja nami, basi uenda ni mara ya kwanza kukutana nami katika ufundishaji wa mada hizi za biology. So leo tunaenda kuanza discussion yetu katika Form 2 Biology tushamaliza form 1 biology na form 2 biology topic ya kwanza ni classification ambayo tayari tulianza kujadili au kudiscuss katika form 1 biology tukajadili vitu vingi kwenye classification lakini hapa tunaendelea pia kwa kuwa classification mada ndefu kama vile ambavyo tayari nishaitolea maelezo kule nyuma kwamba form 1 kuna kipande ninasoma tulishia kingdom protoctista form 2 tunaendelea kingdom fungi and kingdom plantae lakini form 3 tutaendelea na part takobaki ya kingdom plantae na form 4 ni kingdom animalia hiyo sio mimi ninayoamua ni syllabus ndio mipanga na imeweka iwe hivyo kwa hiyo basi kama hauna ujuzi wa hiyo classification ya form 1 ni vyema ukatafuta namna ambayo ka subscribe e, vipindi vya form 1 biology ndani ya application hii ya mapinda app form 1 biology uka subscribe na ukisha subscribe ukaanza kusoma form 1 biology in your own time ili kuweza ku kuweza ku deal na kusoma hivyo vitu kwa undani zaidi kwa muda wako wewe mwenyewe lakini sasa tuna shughulika na form 2 biology ambayo sasa hivi tuko kwenye topic ya classification Eh uh, zina notes zinazotumia ni notes ambazo ziko kwenye website. Uh, tunaishi kwenye ulimwengu mitandao na tuna website nyingi sana. Um sija tengeneza notes zangu bado za form 2 biology lakini katika kutafuta website nyingi nimependa hii website na inatoa notes nzuri. Inatoa notes nzuri sana. Kwa baadhi yenu mnaweza mkaa mna contact zangu lakini kama au na contact zangu wacha ni kuandikia hapa ili kama ukisubscribe hivi vipindi ukataka kusoma hizi notes kwenye website so you'll find me through these contacts ili nikupe vipi nikupe hiyo link ya website ambayo utapata utapata vipindi so my contacts kuna 0741448538 kuna 0745 Sita, tisa, tano, moja, mbili, tano, na kuna sifuli, sita, mbili, sifuli, sita, saba, moja, mbili, tatu. So, utantafta kwa namba yote katia hizo, ili uweze kupewa hizo notes na kusoma. Kwa sababu notes moja katika kitu cha muhimu sana katika maisha ya mwanafunzi, katika maisha ya mwanafunzi notes ni kitu cha muhimu sana ye kwa nacho ni kitu cha muhimu sana. Kwa hiyo tutafuta na mada nyingi za form 2 biology tutatumia notes hizi. Tajadi kwa notes ziko vizuri sana, zina vitu vingi. Ziko vizuri sana. So topic ya kwanza nimekwambia form 2 ni classification. Na classification tulisoma form 1, nimekwambia tulisoma concept, tulisoma vitu vya namba mbalimbali. Sasa tunaendelea tu na concept nyinginezo za classification tuendelea na concept nyinginezo kwa uh, form 2 tunasoma classification in terms of kingdom fungi na kingdom plantae kwa division mbili so hapa kama unavona mwanzo ni kabisa umecholwa uyoga umecholwa uyoga amba uyoga ni kiumbe wa kingdom kingdom fungi yani ni fungus uyoga ni fungus unazo kona uyoga ulivyo hapo una kikofia hiki hapa kinaitwa cup hapo una hii hapa inayoshuka inaitwa stock uh -huh. unaona huko chini kuna hi-fi umio yoga hi-fi i think kama ushai kula uyoga ushai kuchuma uyoga shambani polini mm -hmm. unafahamu haya mambo ya hi-fi zilivyo eh is in underground hi-fi ni kama mizizi fulani kuna gills kule chini gills ni kama migongo fulani video kondani ya uyoga fundi cup 
umcholo huo unatoka kwenye practical lakini utaenda kujadili tena hapo mbele kidogo now um, indo website kama utakuwa unaitaka kama utakuwa unaitaka i don't think kama wote mtahitaji but this is our website here so if you go and search the ecolebooks.com ecolebooks.com you will find these notes in a very clear way kama ambavyo unaziona hapa so katika classification form 2 nimekwambia na soma kingdom fungi and kingdom plantae let's start with kingdom fungi kingdom ni nini sasa hapo tutakiwa soma pindi vya form 1 biology ndio ujue kingdom ni kitu gani kwa sababu kutushaelezea kingdom ni kitu gani hapa tuwezi kurudi nyuma tena kuanza kuelezea kingdom hapa tunaanzia kwenye tulipoishia now kwenye classification form 2 tunasoma kingdom fungi kingdom kingdom ni kitu gani kingdom ni kitu gani na labda kwenye kingdom kingdom fungi tunasoma nini A members of the kingdom fungi include fairly family organization kiujumla kingdom fungi ni fungus hawa hawa ni fungus bila kujalisha wewe utakuwa unawajuaje lakini generally ukishasikia tu fungi ujua nani ni fungus hawa wako tu aina tofauti lakini ni fungus now members of the kingdom fungi include fairly family organism ni organism ambao wanafanana fanana fairly family viumbe ambao wanafanana fanana such as mushroom mushroom ni yoga toadstool eh? toadstools puffy balls sasa hii kama umewahi kuishi kijini au maeneo ya mashamba utakuwa unafahamu kuna vitu ambavyo unakuta au kwenye mti fulani ulioanguka chenye kimeota au kwenye udongo tu kimeota and blacket fungi ziko za aina nyingi vikiwepo pia kama unakuta mtu kuna mtu kichwani labda kuna kuna mdwara umejitengeneza nywele azioti sio anahitaje lakini ile ni ni ni, ni, ni fungus wale unaona kuna fungus wako anakuwa naota same za sili fungus wengine unasikia mtu anakwambia sui pumbujelo wale ni fungus kwa fungus wako aina nyingi hilo jina nimetaja tu kwa ndo jina lilo zoeleka mtani lakini exactly jina yake wana majina yao mengi tu ambayo ni complicated siwezi nika yataja so there are also less obvious but very important members hawako sana hawako wengi lakini very important less obvious tukisema obvious maana ni kitu ambacho kinatokea mara nyingi tukisema less obvious maana yake wakitokea mara nyingi less maana ni kidogo au mara chache less obvious hakitokea mara nyingi there less obvious but very important lakini ni muhimu sana very important members such as mold ambao mold huwa wanakuwa kwenye mkate kuta mkate ukiweka siku nyingi unakuta kama una weusi weusi fulani hiyo ndio naita mold wale ni fungus so they grow on a bread wanakuwa kwenye mkate a rip fruit kwenye matunda liva and other foods katika vyakula vingine au mold yanaweza kuwa now tuone a characteristics of fungi sasa fungi wana tabia gani tukisema characteristics ni tabia au muonekano ndamjuaje huyu ni fungus fungus anakuwa na sifa zipi ana muonekano upi ana sifa zipi au ana muonekano upi ndio tutazijua hapa na fungi they are found in a damp or wet places cha kwanza kabisa wanapatikana kwenye damp maeneo ya jalala au maeneo yenye unyevu unyevu wet places ndio uh, maana nimekwambia most of the yani wanapenda wet places kama unaweza kukuta kuna fungus za same za sili kwenye vidole mle katikati ambao maji yanaweza kakaa katikati ya kidole na kidole maji yanaweza kakaa fungus ndio wanapenda mle kiufupi fungus wanapenda uchafu na mtu yote mwenye fungus cha kwanza kabisa kichomfanya apate fungus ni uchafu. Yaani ukisikia mtu ana fungus tabia ya kwanza ambayo uwe na uhakika nayo anayo hiyo mtu ni mchafu. Mchafu haogi au akioga hajifuti maji kabla hajavaa nguo. Kwa hiyo ni kuoga tu kishaoga anavaa nguo kama ni zandani anavaa hajajifuta maji ndio fungus wana develop mtu anaita pumbujelo sio nini. Kwa fungus ni uchafu wanapenda mahali penye uchafu uchafu so uh, number moja they are eukaryotic cell wenye eukaryotic cell yani wana true nucleus with a rigid protective cell wall wana rigid protective cell wall made up of chitin uh, chitin ni material fulani aina fulani ya carbohydrate ambayo for your level hauta discuss sana uh, utaiona hapo utaiona form 4 kwenye 
exoskeleton of insects like an actual autotactual to you combat the cell wall of plants is made up of chitin this is different i mean cell wall of fungi so plants plants cell wall is made up of cellulose ko plants in a fungi ni tofauti kwenye fungi cell wall metengenezwa na chitin kwenye plants metengenezwa na cellulose so it contain polysaccharide polysaccharide and protein Number two, the body of fungi is organized into thread-like structure called hyphae. Kwa mwili wa fungus ume, umetengenezwa na thread-like structure kama kamba kamba fulani za nzoto fungi au singular uh, I mean hyphae au singular ni hyphae. Hizi zinazotengeneza body zinaitwa hyphae au singular ni hyphae. Sasa hizi hyphae zikiwa nyingi zinatengeneza mycelium mycelium na katika haifa ziko septet na aseptet septet zinakuwa zime zina zimekutana au tuseme kama zina matawi matawi aseptet hazina number three, fungi have no chlorophyll they have no chlorophyll also they do not photosynthesize hawana chlorophyll lakini pia hawafanyi photosynthesis their uh, mode of feeding is heterotrophic you want to feed heterotrophic in this way some are saprophytic while the others are parasitic baadhi ni saprophytic saprophytic manake they feed on dead organic matter and parasitic manake wanakula kwa host sasa fungus wako aina hiyo ambao wana feed kwenye dead organic matter ndio maana nimekwambia ukikata mti ukaanguka unaweza kukuta kwenye ule mti umeota uyoga ile ni fungus na kazi yake ni kudecompose inafanya external digestion inatoa enzyme wana digest chakula nje ya mwili then in absorb end product Uh, number four, they store food as glycogen hiyo inafanana na animal animal nao wana ifaz chakula kama glycogen they store food as, gly- as glycogen and number five, a fungi will produce asexually by using spores so and it produce asexually by using spores but i think some of the fungi they can reproduce even sexually because uh, we have several categories of fungi uh, so some of them i think they can reproduce sexually and some of them they they produce a sexually as is stated in the notes now let's uh, go to the phylums of kingdom fungi the phylums of kingdom fungi phylum nayo tulishaelezea kwenye form one biology katika phylum kuna three main phyla of kingdom fungi ascomycota zygomycota and basidiomycota sasa hizi phylum ziliweka majina sawa na uh, namna ambavyo zina, zinatengeneza spores kwa mfano uh, Ascomycota the word ask imetokana na ascus ambao ascus ni ni ni, ni packet is a packet eh? but also zygo and basidio so you will see ascomycota they produce ascospores and zygomycota they, they produce zygospores and basidio mycota they produce basidio spores is in a tatu za spores eh, ascospores zygospores i mean ascospores as i go suppose in basidio spores zina tofauti zina tofauti zina difference kwa hiyo hizi phylum tatu tutaenda kuziona zina tofauti kila phylum moja na mwanzake so tushia hapa i don't want to make the session longer but in the coming session tutaanza na phylum basidio mycota ya fungus na tajadili kwa ndani tukutane kipindi kijacho thank you